Hey, good morning, it's Mr. Brown. Today we're gonna to be getting into 3D modeling. We're going to model one of these Lego bricks in a program called Inventor. Um, so on your desktop, you might have this little I, it says Autodesk Inventor Professional 2023, or you can go to the start menu and you go down to uh, Autodesk Inventor and you should find Autodesk Inventor Professional 2023. Now, if you have an older version, 2022, if you have next year's version, 2024, uh, it's all going to be the same thing. Just pictures might look slightly different, but the same concepts apply. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this. And while this is loading, I'm going to make a quick little orthographic sketch of this block right here. All right, and this, what this will do is it'll let us, um, you know, a quick little sketch that we can reference back to whenever we need it. All right. All right, so the first time you open Inventor, it might take a few minutes. So I'm just gonna let that sit there while we make our little sketch right here. So remember orthographic, you've got the front view, the top view, the side view. So just really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and make this. And this isn't gonna be the most amazing drawing, but it'll give us the measurements that we need to follow along with. All right. So my width right here, or my length of my block. So we're gonna be doing this in inches. You know, in theory, you could do it in millimeters and it would look the exact same. But um, with these blocks, a lot of them around to the nearest quarter of an inch or near a sixteenth of an inch really nicely. So I can see on my calipers that that is, where that zero line crosses, it is two and a, two and a half inches long, so I'm going to get my ruler. All right, I'm just going to write two and one half inches. And I'm not making this as neat as I should, so we can go through this kind of quickly. All right, the height. I'm going to say the height without the studs right there is... So looking at that, three quarters of an inch. Looking at it with the studs. Right there, I'm at 15 sixteenths. So both of those are good to know. All right, so that is three quarters of an inch from there to there. Just gonna make that rectangle. Okay, and I'm doing this in pen so you can see it, but it's always a good idea to do it in pencil. Um, that's gonna come up three quarters of an inch. So this isn't a perfect representation, but I know the studs are three sixteenths. And we'll find out the exact measurements as we go along. All right, so I need my width of my block right there all right it's just under one and a quarter we'll just call that one and a quarter so one and a quarter wide which would be five blocks on my graph paper. One, two, three, four, five, right there. And then let's just put that little diagonal line. For my projectors, so it's gonna come over here. Right here. I know the top of the studs are going to be somewhere right there. All right, so just really quick sketch right here, real quick orthographic drawing. 
you know, this is just so I have some kind of notes to come back to as I'm going along. Right there, and studs go in here somewhere. Again, I'll figure that out as I go along. All right, cool. And then there'll be Now, let's get into Inventor right here. So as I first open up Inventor, so this is the first time I've opened this software on this computer, so it's probably gonna look similar to what you see. If you see something that says like data privacy stuff, just hit okay. Um, if you see anything with like activating a license, just hit okay. All right, so it says there's nothing here yet to get started, create or open a document. This learn more button right here is probably some tutorial stuff. If you click on that, it's gonna open a website. Uh, okay, so it opens the help page. Most of what we need is gonna be over here. And so over here on the left-hand side, got open. If you wanna open something you've already saved before, we've got new. And then if you hit this little drop down, we have four different things that you can make in Inventor. So you have a part, you have an assembly, you have a drawing, and you have a presentation. So what a part file is, that first one, is basically just like one thing. Like if you're making a block, this block is one part. An assembly is where you take multiple parts and you put them together. So like if I made this block and I made this block, in Inventor you could put them together. A drawing will give you a really nice technical drawing that is a lot better than this right here. So um, we'll do that when we make technical drawings. Presentation, we won't get into in this class, but in other future classes, you might do that. Um, it makes nice, like, exploded views of whatever it is you're making here. Now, you can just click directly on these to make a new one, but the, you're not quite sure if you're in inches, if you're in millimeters, you might have to change the settings later on. So instead of hitting that new part right there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just click where it says new. So just click on new, it'll open up this little screen right here. Um, so again, I've got parts, assemblies, drawings, and presentations, but if you hit this little drop down right here, if we're working in inches, if we're working in Imperial, you wanna hit this English button, so then everything is gonna be in inches. If you're working in metric system, hit this metric button and everything will be in metric. It's nice to just pick that ahead of time so you don't have to try to figure it out later. Is it in inches, is it in millimeters, I don't know. This one we're going to do in inches, so I'm going to click on English. So again, hit this little drop down under templates, hit English, and we want a standard inches.ipt. IPT is an inventor part file. We don't want sheet metal, don't want assembly, all that stuff. So we're going to hit a standard inch part, we're going to hit create. All right. From here, this is the uh, you know, the main screen of Inventor. You've got a lot of buttons up here. I got a lot of different toolbars up here, different menu options right here. There's a whole lot of stuff this program can do. This is a professional level engineering software. What we're going to use mostly is just a couple of the buttons up here in the top left. Um, I should have a little screen over here on the side. If you don't have that screen right here, hit this little plus and click on model browser. All right, and that'll bring this little uh, side menu right here. All right. First thing we need to do is hit Start Sketch. So the way that this software works is you make a sketch in two dimensions, and then you make it, you bring that out into three dimensions. So you're always going to start with a two-dimensional sketch, and then you will take that into three dimensions. Uh, you'll notice if I hit this drop down, there is Start 2D Sketch and Start 3D Sketch. We are always going to start with 2D and then bring it into 3D. So when I hit start 2D, I get this little funny looking shape right here. What this is are my planes that I can work with, my x-axis, my y-axis, and my z-axis, because we're working in three-dimensional space, and it's saying, hey, where do you want to draw? So if I click on this one, I can draw on that face or that plane. If I click on this one, I can draw that one. If I click this one, I can draw on that one. So we're going to start out, let's draw it from the top view of our block, like that. So we're just going to draw that outer rectangle right there. All right, so let me start a new video and we can get going into the drawing process.